Representative Roberts. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, colleagues, I am so proud to be in front of you all presenting House Bill 1304 with my colleague, Representative Bradfield. Uh, and because of all the hard work, dedication, analysis of the Affordable Housing Transformational Task Force, that, and I want to thank them to help us put forth this historic bipartisan effort, an effort that will undoubtedly help lead to more Coloradans in every corner of the state having a safe, affordable, and welcoming place to call home. As chair of the Affordable Housing Transformational Task Force, I do need to take a moment and thank all of the legislators, the executive branch staff, and the housing experts from across the housing continuum that worked so hard uh, all for many, many months, all last year. And I want to thank Representative Bradfield for her partnership and commitment to helping me turn one of the task force's most prioritized concepts into this piece of legislation before you today. This is a piece of legislation that will transform people's lives and help people uh, get into affordable housing that they desperately need. I know that we all hear from our constituents just how expensive and difficult it is to attain housing within every district that we represent. It's a concern and conversation which has unfortunately become the norm for all of us, particularly over the last few years. And what this bill reflects is a new affordable housing grant program that will be housed in the Division of Local Affairs, and it will set forth a process in which local governments, nonprofits, public-private partnerships, and others can apply to receive state capital to get their affordable housing projects off the ground. And priority will be given to projects that have already invested resources, that have promising local partnerships, and are set up to build and maintain affordable housing as quickly as possible. The bill also creates incentives for local communities to rethink their zoning and building codes in ways that incentivize affordable housing development and reduce the barriers to getting people housed in smart, efficient, and affordable ways and near where they work as the vital members of our community, as nurses, as law enforcement officers, as teachers, and as part of our workforce that power our small businesses. Finally, I, want to, uh, I would like to note that through much negotiation hard work, we have crafted this bill in a way that it means that all of Colorado will benefit. In this bill, as you've heard, Rep. Bradfield and I have guaranteed funds for rural and rural resort communities, and it comes with the flexibility to help those areas based on their unique area median income circumstances, because we know that our rural and mountain communities are feeling the housing crunch very acutely, just as much or even more than our metro areas. This bill really does benefit all of Colorado with an important and vital problem that we're facing, and I'm looking forward to seeing it fund and promote good projects supported in all four corners of our state. So with that, I'd ask for a yes vote.